Hello everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel Mori Tech. I am Varun Moria and in today's video I am going to talk about a topic that affects the life of millions of people that is cyber threats and frauds. So as in our India nowadays a lot of fraudsters and cyber attacks are happening. So in this video I am going to tell you about which type of frauds are happening in India nowadays and how to keep you secure from them. So stay in this video till end to learn more about these topics. So let's start our video. Before we jump into the latest cyber attacks and frauds, let's quickly understand what cyber attacks are. Cyber attacks refer to the malicious activities conducted by individual or group with the intended to compromise the security of a computer system, networks, or digital devices. These attacks exploit vulnerabilities in software, hardware, or human behavior to gain unauthorized access, steal or manipulate data, disrupt operations, or cause other form of harms. Now let's talk about some common types of cyber attacks. The first one is malware. Malicious software such as viruses, worms, ransomware, or spyware is designed to infiltrate systems, damage data, or gain control over devices. The second one is phishing. It is not that type of phishing, it is a phishing attack. In phishing attack, attackers use deceptive emails, messages, or websites to trick users into providing sensitive information like passwords, credit card details, or personal information. On third number, we have denial of service, that is DOS. And second is the distributed denial of service, that is DDOS attacks. These attacks aim to overwhelm a system or network with a flood of requests, rendering it inaccessibility to legitimate user. The fourth one is man in the middle that is MITM. In MITM attacks, hackers intercept and alter communication between two parties, allowing them to airdrop, steal data or inject malicious code. The fifth one is SQL injection. Attackers exploit vulnerabilities in web applications by inserting malicious SQL codes, gaining unauthorized access to database and potential manipulating or extracting sensitive data. On sixth number, we have social engineering. This involves manipulating individuals to divulge confidential information or perform actions that may compromise security. It can also conclude tactics like impersonation, baiting, or illicit information through defensive means. The seventh one is zero day exploit. Attackers exploit previous unknown vulnerabilities in software or systems before developers have chances to fix them give them advance over security measures. On 8th number, we have advanced persistence threats, that is APTS, are the long-term targeted attacks which hackers gain unauthorized access to a system or network and remain undetected for extended period, often stealing sensitive information or monitoring activities. On 9th number, we have insider threats. These attacks involve individuals within an organization intentionally or inadvertently compromising security by abusing their privileges, stealing data, or spreading malware. On 10th number, we have crypto jacking. Attackers use malware to hijack a victim computers or device resources to mine cryptocurrencies without their consent or knowledge. So, it is important to note that cyber attacks are continuously evolving as technology advances. Organizations and individuals need to stay by vigilant, employ robust security measures, and regularly update their system to mitigate the risk of cyber attacks. Now let's talk about how you can keep yourself safe from these attacks. As we are aware of this risk, let's discuss some practical tips to protect ourselves from cyber attacks and frauds. The first one is a strong and unique password. Always use a strong and unique passwords for each online account. Consider using a password manager to securely store and generate complex passwords and try to make a password that is consists of alphabets, numbers, and special characters together. The second one is two-factor authentication, that is 2FA. Enable 2FA whenever is possible. It provides an additional layer of security by requiring a second verification step such as a unique code sent to your mobile device alongside your password. For example, if you are logging to your account that is authenticated with 2FA, that is two-factor authentication, then in that account during login, 
first you have to enter your account password after that you have to enter a OTP that is sent to your mobile number which is registered on two-factor authentication now on third number we have exercise caution online be cautious while clicking on links or downloading attachments from unknown resources verify the authenticity of websites and apps before sharing personal information or making online transactions if you are using any online website that is paying money or you are buying anything from online websites and just check out those websites first be carefully because some websites are maybe fraud these times as you can see most of the frauds are happening through websites that someone buy some items and he paid that money but nothing will be delivered to him so be careful while buying anything from online websites now on number fourth we have keep software updated regularly update your operating systems antivirus softwares and other applications these updates often include important security patches that protects against unknown vulnerabilities as soon as the new virus or any cyber attack attacks in our market then the company will release a security update in our devices so try to keep your device update regularly on fifth number we have stay informed stay updated on the latest cyber attacks and frauds by following reputable cyber security news sources awareness is the crucial in defending against evolving attacks techniques you can also subscribe or follow us on instagram where we are going to share our cyber security frauds and cases that are recently happening in our india and get the our instagram link in our bio or description box as technology continues to advance the risk of cyber attacks and frauds also increases it's essential for everyone of us to take proactive steps to protect ourselves and our digital presence by following the best practices we discussed today we are significantly reduce the chances of falling victim to these malicious activities now let's talk about some scams and frauds the first one is phishing scam social media platforms are often targeted by phishing scams in these cases fraudsters creates fake profiles or pages that mimics well known brand organization or public figure this send some messages or post content with malicious link tricking users into revealing personal information or login credentials the second one is impersonation scam fraudsters may create fake profiles pretending to be someone else such as a celebrity or a prominent individual they exploit their impersonations to deceive user into providing financial support or sharing sensitive information third number we have investment and money scams these are the most common scams that are running on india nowadays these type of scams are mostly run through the use of social media as i talked to earlier social media platforms have seen various investment scams where foresters promotes fraudulent investment opportunities or cryptocurrency schemes these schemes often promises higher returns or exclusive deals targeting users who are less knowledgeable about investing after that we have fake giveaways these are also the most common attacks that are happening in nowadays in india some scammers create fake pages or accounts posting as well known brand or influencer and run fake giveaways to gather personal information or manipulate users into engaging with malicious content it is important to remember that the methods and techniques used by fraudsters evolved over time to protect yourself from frauds on social media app it's crucial to remain cautious be skeptical of suspicious messages or offers verify the authenticity of account or pages and avoid sharing personal information or financial information with unknown individual or entities next we have fake influencers and influencer frauds that is on instagram and youtube the rise of influencer marketing has given rise to fake influencers who artificially inflate their followers count or engagement metric to deceive brands these fraud and influencers may be hired for promotional campaign but fail to deliver the expected result next we have social media account hacking social media accounts can be targeted for hacking where attackers gain unauthorized access to accounts and use them for various fraud and activities this can include spreading malicious links engaging in a scam or posting false informations after this 
they post some information that shows that the user of the account is making a lot of money from cryptocurrency or other means of method and then they try to convince the friends of the account holder to invest money and surprisingly they are running their these frauds very well but now a lot of people are aware of this fraud so be careful on instagram if someone unknown message you to again again regarding cryptocurrency scam or any other scams that concludes today's video on cyber frauds and cyber attacks we hope this eye opening exploration into the world of cyber threats has provided valuable insights we invited you to share your thoughts and experiences in the comment section below if you found this video inf information helpful and relevant then please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends to raise awareness remember to subscribe to our channel for more enlightening contents or safeguarding against cyber threats stay vigilant keep cautioning and let's collective to work together fortifying our digital world thank you for watching and until next time stay safe stay secure and keep protecting your online presence